reading room with Sylvie here. Today we're doing a pick a card reading and it's on what is the problem and it has to do with family, friends, loved ones. You pick your person and we're going to see about how you can fix it, the advice given and yeah so we'll get started and if you would like to support my channel press that bell icon. I appreciate it. Thank you and also gives you a video update and timestamp down below. Just uh, choose your group. Take your time. Enjoy. See you there. Hello, group one. Let's see what's going on. So, we have some uh, few messages and some energy cards. And also, we're going to look into what's the problem and how they see it or their point of view. So, don't forget to pick your person. Okay, so we'll get right into it. So, adverse. It has something to do with uh, being very close. And supporting each other and always being there for each other and having um, history or past which is deep been there for each other a lot actually and plan to be there for each other a lot later too so this person is not leaving your life or, or ex exiting in any way it just um, right now it's about what is important to you What's important to you in this relationship? And the problem is that's not really clear. And basically that's the, the, the real root of the issue. Okay, so... Things are wide open. Like it, Clarity needs to be a given. But it's almost like there's a bubble around you. And you're not reachable or they're not reachable. And if someone's in their own bubble, in their own world, in their own thoughts, they're, they're, they're happy. So place it on which one you are, but very content, very happy. But the other person wonders, you know, so if you're the one wondering, you know, what's up with what's going on, it seems like things are good on the other end. Okay, that's... Um, and it may be good the way it is. And you're not satisfied, but they are. You know, that's something that I'm picking up. Things are good socially. Like, socially happy. It's a, It looks good. So, um, if you're friends and you go out together a lot and you're always out there... Things are looking good towards other people. Other people see you as being very close. And if it's a loved one or, or a family member that usually you're, you're attached to and you do a lot together, um, there's some hurt feelings or cautiously putting your heart back out there. Someone is uh, only giving a portion of it or hesitating to really trust and love the way they want to or should. This is really about feelings, about uh, feeling left out and not uh, feeling great about it. So it seems like the other person is fine. I'm just going to check. Yeah, for them, everything is fine. Things are going the way they're supposed to go. But sometimes they would like to, to change you or have a hard time accepting the fact they can't change things about you or or put you in a different mind frame but things are set the way they are and that's how your personality is the way it's going to be and so is theirs but they tend to want to change you they don't accept you fully as you are let's find out why Well, you have a difference of opinion. You are, uh, you're, I feel like you fight a lot and it's really a difference of opinion. One is set, uh, rooted down, like you're really stable, steady, uh, predictable, uh, you know, you like to do things, routine, stuff like this, and successfully doing it. And the other is uh, carefree, just loves adventure no rules, no attachments, you know, and that opinion sort of clashes. 
so it's like you're opposite, but love each other really a lot. Been together for a long time, plan to be together for a long time, and you tend to share a lot, always be there for each other. So that's not changing. Hmm. So let's find out more about this one. The What is important to you? Let's find out more about that. Like, why is it mentioning that? Okay. Decision making. Things are uh, not quite right or, or not as uh, beautiful or not as smooth as it should be. Seems like it is, but it's not. And... Um, the, not really worried. One is not really worried about, uh, what they're doing or how they're deciding things. And that seems to be a problem. The worry about making decisions, you know, so it has to do with what you want and, and how you want things done and what they're doing and how they're doing it. You seem to be preoccupied with them more than yourself. So it's really about if you want to, have this relationship fixed and be okay with it you have to think more about what you want what you need what's important to you you know what are you going to do about it you really have to think about yourself let them be who they are and live the way they want and not concern yourself so much and concentrate more on yourself and your life and it looks like that's um would make them happy too because they're sort of like busy trying to change you or trying to make you more like them. And at the same time, one of you is in a bubble. So you're really um, concentrating on who you are. And so that's, I feel like it's them. The more I read, the more I feel like it's them, that they're very comfortable with who they are. And it has nothing to do with uh, their affection for you or wanting to be around you. or, or It's just opposites. And the more you make peace with it, the happier you'll be. Because the more you find yourself, the happier you'll be. It's, yeah. It's all about living your own life the way you want. And they'll join you. And you'll have two different personalities. But it doesn't change anything on, on the emotional side. You're always going to be there for each other. This person is not leaving or going anywhere the more you become yourself, the more they'll be happy. Because they already are themselves. Hmm. The better it's going to be for you. And they're going to enjoy that. Because um, they're going to say, oh well, they're, going, they're themselves. They're not going to worry so much about you. Because they do care. They just want you to be happy. So they, they think that you, if you don't know what you want, then maybe you should be more like them. They can help you. So they're, they're really doing it at the concern of their heart. Because they're so routined. And if it's flipped the other way, then you know. This, you know, if, if, you're the, if it's the opposite, place it. Choices. So many choices. You have to, you, things are wide open. Like, there's nothing set. They, they're, they think it is. <laughs> they think it's fate. You know, and that's how it's going to be. But no, there's nothing set in, in life. You could move along and open up whatever door or pathway you want. And that is fine. It's wide open for you. You may not know it and you might not even uh, realize that you can explore. But be honest with what you want and you'll see that things will open up even more. You'll know which door to open up. Mm, because right now it's a pack of stress. And you know that there's something that you want to do. You know that you want more in life. You're more content with what's going on. So by being honest with yourself and opening up, you're able to, to choose and go ahead. And it's not relating to them so much as it, as it is for yourself. Um not to be so preoccupied with them. And things will work out all by themselves. Hello, group two. 
So let's find out what's going on. Uh, we're going to figure out about uh, what is the problem. Don't forget to pick your person, friend, family, loved one, and figure out what's going on there. So we're going to figure out about what they have to say, message for you, and what's the problem. What is the issue, I guess? Okay. So it has to do with um, secrets. Secret locking your heart. Contentment. Ah. Being happy with yourself and who you are and what you want. Mm. Being completely honest with what you want. Like, you're going to put your heart out there. You want to know that it's it's a good idea. It's it's uh, something that you're going to do. And you're not going to unlock it for, for just like that. So if you're going to put yourself out there, it has to do with that. So we'll, we'll, keep, we'll stay on the if for right now. Oh, you're patient. You've been patient for a long time. You're just standing there um, doing your thing, being happy, um, going along, uh, doing your life, and things are manifesting and moving along and living life when it comes to you and what you want. And you seem to be content, but it has to do with your life, not them. There, There's a reason for them. I'm going to pull out more cards, of course. Okay. Let's find out more. Mm. Yes, when it comes to them, things were good. Things look or seems good. Things... Uh, you're doing fine, but there's something that wrong, not sure what it is, and it aches you because you want to open up to them, but you're just not sure what's going on, and you're not willing to uh, be vulnerable and not willing just to let them step all over your heart. You feel you need to protect, but at the same time, you're not being honest about it. You're holding back. You're not letting them know that uh, you're bothered by what's going on and you're living life just as if nothing's going on, nothing's wrong, even though you feel it. Hmm. Yeah, they're not always there for you. They don't always want to be you, there for you. So you're feeling like, what's going on? I don't understand. And they're like, hmm. you're always in need and I'm just not always want to be there. I'm tired of being there. All the time. Okay, let's find out more. Don't don't leave. <laughs> let's, let's find out. Sometimes we have to like put the the raw truth out there or the raw feelings just so we can adjust and make them better. You know. And sometimes it's not even a big issue, but the sensitivity is is huge, and that's what I'm feeling here. So. Mm. They feel hurt. They feel hurt and they're always there. They're always trying. They feel like they, they make uh, think life better or they're always fixing. They're like um, when you're in trouble or you're in need, they, they're there to fix you up or, or try. And they're disappointed because um, they feel like they're always doing a good job. So what's going on here? So why are they disappointed? They don't know. <laughs> they don't know why. They just, so you don't know and they don't know. Something went wrong. Like they don't know why they don't want to be there always for you. They don't know why they feel like um, they're not doing a good job. So they need validation from you. Hmm. Isn't that crazy? How that comes out just like that? It's validation. They need you to validate that they're doing good for you they, or you've been, they've been there for you. And they're always there for you. And they don't need to be there for you. That's the big issue on their side. And your your um, your side is you feel um, you're holding back and you feel like you need to protect yourself. You need to protect your heart and you don't understand what is going on. Like when you when they're around you, you pick up on their moodiness or pick up on their uncertainty of what's 
um, on your relationship or what's going on between you two. They're open. They just they just uh, don't know. Hmm. Okay. I almost feel sad because it seems like you're both good people, and you need you need to have um, a good talk. So this is about content, being content. I'm gonna put that here for a minute. Yes, there's two sides. Neither one of you see each other's side. That one feels like they want to come out, so... Yeah. Yeah, the fool. Um, things are not always as they seem. So, it's like you both are thinking that you know what the other one is thinking. You both think that things are okay and that... You know, and at the same time, you both don't know what the freak is going on. So, it's like neither one of you are communicating your true feelings. And that's why the contentment is, uh, it needs to come out. You need to be content with what is going on. And the only way to do that is by, oh, this way. I feel like this one needs to be, but... Not this message. I feel like it's added message. By figuring it out. By understanding. By, uh, you know, okay, what's going on? And let me see. Let me understand. There you go, the lover. Oh, wow. Love each other by, by understanding and taking care of what the other person needs. Validating each other. So that is what's going on here. Look at look how beautiful it is. It's uh, contentment. Whoops. It's contentment about learning about each other. And really embracing each other. Accepting total honesty. Total acceptance, being there for each other. So this relationship is not going anywhere. It's absolutely fixable. It's just somebody, somewhere's sensitivities set in, and 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 the topic was touchy. But it's just a matter of talking to each other. Yes, being there for each other, being tr being true to yourself at the same time. You're protected. You're being you're being guided. You're there to support. You're you're there to to be there for them. To be there for yourself, and things will be okay. And you know exactly how to go about it. That's what they're saying. And you're guided and protected, so it's safe to go ahead and fix this relationship. Open yourself up to them, and you'll see how it's going to uh, benefit you. Um, how you're both going to fix this and it's going to be okay on both sides. So that's what I'm getting. Okay, group three, let's see what's going on. So we have a few messages for sure and we have what they're feeling, what you're feeling and what is the problem and then we'll find out the solution, I guess, or the advice, whatever they give us. Um, oh, aggression. Well, there you go. Uh... It's aggression about your passion, what you're doing, your dreams, your goals, the house of flowers. It's like you're exploding with uh, um, excitement and you're flourishing and you, whatever you're doing is is uh, really good. But you're in there. That's all you do. You eat, you live, you breathe it. Um, you, you sleep, you wake up you, with the thoughts. You go to sleep with the thoughts. You're so preoccupied, but that's all you do. So, let's find out. Oh, yeah. You know what you want. You know what you're doing. You know where you're going. You have no doubts. You're full of confidence. So, what's going on here? <laughs> so far, everything seems to be good, but we know there's a problem. So, oh, and don't forget to pick your person. She said that at the beginning. So, what is the problem? Seems like the problem is you're too busy. They're there looking at you. There's, you're bigger than life.
You're strong. Your your ideas are strong. Your your desires of doing what you want. Your passions. Um, yeah, you support. You're supporting yourself. You're you're supporting what your life. You're supporting uh, what you need to do. You're always. Um, yeah, you, you're going right into it. You're aggressive. You're stubborn. You stay. You stay focused. You stay steady. You're at a good pace. You're being honest with what you want. You don't hold back. And yeah, things are good. And actually, you're you're looking like you're on the right path. But if you're not if, um, seeing the abundance in your life, or things aren't coming in yet, they're going to be because um, I feel like this is now. So whatever you're doing, you're manifesting in a huge way. So if your life is not improving or feeling great, then it's like do expect it. Stay on course. So. For them, yeah, the truth be told, see, they see how wonderful your life is. They see where you're going. They see what you're doing. They love the fact that you're having a good life. But I do see the problem. This problem is that you don't see them. You see through them. You're too busy. You you see only your dream, only your, your journey, only uh, what you're working on they stand in front of you and and you're they're like invisible and they're not they're very smart they're someone who's intelligent and they try to get your attention they really want your attention and but they're happy for you it's not like they're not happy for you but the problem is they feel invisible Mm. they're successful themselves. I mean, they have plenty going on in their lives. It's not like they're um, a victim or someone that's, uh, you know, I mean, victim of feelings, you know, victim of, oh, you're doing so good, but I'm not that type. Um, it's not like that. It's uh, they're very successful on their own and very smart. Not too many cards. No, no, these are good. So, the mm, oh, they they have feelings for you. So for those who are not with this person and they're not your partner, they have feelings for you. They they really have feelings for you. They is and it's new. It's it's uh, so this could be a best friend that has feelings for you, and it's uh, just developing the more the busier you are the more they're having feelings for you or realizing their feelings for you it's all new and they love you or if it's not someone that's romantically in love with you or romantic um have intentions or realizing that they're they want more from you or you know it could be if it's a family member um they're going to miss you or they're missing you or this new even because the busier you are the more they miss you, the more they realize that you're not part of their lives as much. And before it was taken for granted. So these friends, you have to fit it how it goes. But it's all a new way of feeling. It's because you're too busy. Before you were just there when they wanted you. But not necessarily that they did go see you. But they could. Now they can't sort of thing. It's more complicated. And for those who are with someone, they're feeling left out too. Or they're feeling like like um, you're not seeing them anymore, you know? They're invisible to you because you're too busy. <laughs> and they're feeling it. And that's the issue, the problem. And I don't feel like they're jealous of you. They have lots going on for themselves. But they could be a little bit envious of you. Envious in a way that um, they have what they need, they're satisfied. But when they see you having uh, the, the passion to go for your dreams, or the or you're you're working on your life in such a way that um, it's it's like the aggression. It's an aggression, but it's in a positive way. <laughs> that can be aggression in a positive way. Um, it's like you're you're just 
so focused and determined and passionate and they envy that. So what's the problem? What more can we say about that? Well, they're not part of this. They're not part of this dream. They're not part of it. They just, they're not even helping. So they feel left out. They do. It's absolutely, they feel left out. You're too busy for them or too involved in your dreams or preoccupied. Mm. Well, you know, you, you should take a time out to think about that. It's um, on you to, to uh, figure out what you want to do about it. You know, whether you want to include them or not. But you should think about uh, how, um, how it's affecting the loved ones around you. Because it seems like maybe it's a, a little bit um, really all about your dreams. And maybe you're not realizing because it's so beautiful and it's something wonderful and it's great. And you're just so happy for you, but um, how you want how you want to your relationship to be is something that you should think about. Just take a moment and uh, reflect on it, and then decide because you're at a, at a crossroad where you're either going to make this relationship stronger, or you're going to leave them behind, and you know it, and and that's going to be a choice, and that's what I'm picking up there. Yes, they're really involved with you. They really enjoy you. They really want to be part of your life. Every time you pay attention to them, they melt. They're just so happy. So for those who have a romantic relationship, they're really someone special and they really care about you. And for those who have, it's a family member or best friend or something, your best friend might be falling in love with you for some Um and others is just they really care about you and want to be part of your life and they want to make you happy too. They don't want to make you feel bad at all. They're really all about hoping that things are good, but they want to be close. They don't want to lose their closeness. So if this is a cousin and you grow up together, they want to be part of your life too. And almost like um, if you give them gave them something to do, it would release the stress on you and take the chains off and make them busy. So they're successful, but they're sort of like idle or they don't have as much to do as you. And if you have too much to do, you could always ask them to take care of something for you. And that would um, really um, solve the situation and solve yours too. Maybe less to do or something that stresses you or it's annoying because you don't have time to do it and ask them to do it. And they'll be part of your life and feel like they're doing something and not being ignored and that'll solve everything at the same time uh, releases you from from some stress 